Welcome to Tech Advice from Technology. Paul, today I'm gonna to show you just how easy it is to upgrade your storage in your PS5. Consoles are becoming a lot more like PCs nowadays. In fact, all the current generation consoles have ways of expanding your storage. The PS5 comes with an internal SSD of 875 gigabytes. Once you factor in the system software though, you may have about 675 gigabytes to work with. That may or may not be enough for you depending on what games you choose to install. Game file sizes vary wildly. For example, here's a few games I have on my PS5. Minecraft, 2.2 gigabytes. Astro's Playroom, 11 gigabytes. Fall Guys, 12 gigabytes. Rocket League, 29 gigabytes. NHL 22, 46 gigabytes, Destiny 2, 104 gigabytes, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, 153 gigabytes. That's just seven games and we've already used 360 gigabytes. One solution is to just delete some games and install others, but that can be kind of a hassle. So you can also expand your storage and in doing so you have two options. First off, you can use an external hard drive that has USB 3.0. This is a great option from a pure volume perspective since the compatible storage options range from 250 gigabytes to eight terabytes. The only catch with this option is that while you can store both PS4 and PS5 games on the external drive, you can only launch PS4 games that are stored there. To play the PS5 games, you'll need to move them back to the console's internal storage. That's easy enough to do, of course, they actually have a handy menu in the system software to do that. However, it does add an extra step. So the best option for increasing your storage is to use an M.2 SSD, which actually gets slotted internally into your PS5. You can use compatible M.2 SSDs with support for storage options up to four terabytes. Now there are important considerations like choosing a compatible SSD with the right socket type, and you also need to make sure you have a heat sink attached to the drive for heat dissipation. Plus you need to choose one with a sequential read speed of 5,500 megabits per second. Now just hearing these words might freak you out a little bit. After all, console players are often not PC players, and the reason they buy consoles is so that they don't have to think about computers parts and all that kind of stuff that goes along with it. Well, the good news, it's fairly straightforward to find a compatible drive and to make it even easier, Sony partnered up with Western Digital to provide an officially licensed option. In comes the WD Black SN850 internal solid state drive with heatsink made for the PS5. While there's a whole range of compatible drives you could buy, if you want it to be foolproof, you can go out and buy this one from your local Best Buy. This one has a one terabyte storage capacity. It also has read speeds of up to 7,000 megabits per second and write speeds of up to 5,300 megabits a second. And of course, it has the built-in heatsink, so there's no extra installation steps. I picked this one up for about $200 at Best Buy, and here's how to install it. So you wanna put your PS5 on a desk or table with the PS logo facing down. The cover of your PlayStation can actually come right off. You just need to slide the plate from right to left toward the side with the disk drive if you have one. It's clicked in pretty snug, so you'll have to put some force behind it. There's a storage expansion cover. It's silver and it's secured in place with a single screw. So just unscrew that and slide the cover off. Below that, you'll need to take out another screw. There's a standoff below that, which you'll need to move to the 80 mark. You wanna look at the drive and match the M key connection to the slot. It's important that you put this in the right way. Just push it in and you'll feel a pop when it clicks. Then it's just a matter of screwing the drive on while using one finger to hold the drive in place. You don't wanna over tighten this as you could damage the drive. Just make sure it's snug. Then reinstall the storage expansion cover and screw it back on and put the side panel back on. When you plug in your PS5, it will tell you to format the drive. This takes about 10 seconds. And then to manage your games and apps, just use the options menu on any game, then choose move games and apps. From there, you can start to select which games and apps you want to move to the M.2 storage drive. I moved about 200 gigabytes of content initially, and it took maybe two or three minutes. After I moved the content, I opened a couple of the titles that I had moved to make sure they still work seamlessly. And as it turns out, I didn't see any real difference in performance with these games. 
Personally, I just moved my PS4 content to the SSD since my PS5 content still fits on the console storage. According to the specs, you should be able to play both PS4 and PS5 games, so if you've tried that, let me know. It's pretty great that we have the option of expanding the console storage in this way with the PS5, and they made it pretty easy to do so. Now, if you found this tech advice useful, click that like button so that other people can find it. And I do videos on all kinds of tech advice, so if you're into that, click subscribe. Thanks so much, and we'll see you in the next one.